Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Today we're going to be setting up our football team. We're going to be drafting quarterbacks and running backs and getting it all ready. And we're going to be trying to play the right guys on the right weeks with the right weather. Today we're talking about Fantasy Fantasy Football. This is from CSE Games. It's for two, four, or six players. And in this game, you're going to be drafting your team and putting together a tactical card game. This is a sequel to their game, Fantasy Fantasy Baseball. And this is on Kickstarter right now. So I'm going to give you an overview of how the game's played, and then I'll see you on the other side. In Fantasy Fantasy Football, you're trying to win football tokens by winning matchups against your head-to-head -head opponent for that week. There'll be a different schedule depending on the amount of players. Here we have a four-player game set up where there's going to be different months of games. There's going to be month one, month two, month three, then we'll go into the playoffs. You're going to be affected by different weather. You'll be drafting new players and you'll be going through the different weeks through the game board. At the beginning of the game, each player is going to be able to draft up to six cards, but they're separated by different types. For example, the purple ones are rookies, the reds are starters, the blues are specialists, the grays are all pros, and the gold ones are Hall of Famer. These will all be separated out, and then each player will take a deck which has all of the same type of cards in there, and they will pick one and then pass the deck. So that at the end, every player will end up having two rookies and one of everything else. Now within each of them, there's all different positions. There's running backs and tight ends and quarterbacks and kickers and defense. We'll go over that more, but at the beginning you're drafting so you have an even amount of different players. Everyone will have six. Now we're looking at this four player game, we'd look at the schedule. Weeks one through four, which essentially is the first big matchup, uh, is A, team A plays team B, team C plays team D. They're just randomly assigned the letters your team at the beginning of the game. Uh, and you'll be going against these. So let's show you what a specific month look like. In this case, it's weeks one through four. Now I should mention that all the artwork and components here are prototype. Uh, the artwork is not all final. Um, there's going to be many more different uh, pieces of art for the different cards. And so check the Kickstarter page for all the final artwork and components. So each player is going to get their board. This is this board here. This was for, for Team A. And this is for Team B. They will sit across from each other. And we see that we are in month one. We're doing weeks one through four. One, two, three, four. But these boards will be used in future months for weeks five, six, seven, eight, and so on and so forth. So we have both boards here. We have Team A versus Team B. And week one is here for me and here for the head-to-head because -head, we're going to be going head-to-head -head on cards. So once we've set up head-to-head, -head, we are then going to deal the weather cards across each of the weeks to see what might happen and how things alter. But before we go over what these different weather events do, let's talk a little bit more about the cards so you understand what they do. We already talked about there's different types, all pro, rookie, and starters, and we already talked about the different positions like running back, kicker, and wide receiver. Well, many of them will have, the normal positions will have extra stats. The bye week is week three. This says what week you cannot play this person because they'd get you zero points because they're off that week just like in normal football. Now here are touchdown stats, yardage stats, success stats, and then here we have a total. This number is, are all these stats here added up. Also, each character will either be good or evil. We'll come into more play later as I explain that. And then each of them can have some magic special abilities that they may use. Now you might notice that the kicker, what's going on? Does it have any stats? Well, it's true because the kicker isn't that powerful. They don't really have any stats, but you can use them for their special abilities. So now back to the board and we see the weather cards have been dealt randomly and for weeks one, two, three, and four, we have hot, showers, calm, and thunder, and lightning. And those just change things. For example, the running back stats are zero because it's hot in this week one, so you don't want to play a running back here. But here you can double all running back stats, so you probably want to play a running back in this one. Uh, in the third week, we have you double the successes. So for example, if I were to play this card that would normally have four, this would be worth eight in this week. And then last is thunding, Thunder and Lightning, which means you can never use any player's special ability magic. That's a good player. We'll go over more of that in detail in just a moment. So those all have been dealt. Then we go through roster scouting, which basically means that you take your six cards, you pass them to your opponent, they pass you their six cards, and you have roughly about 20 seconds to look at their cards, see what they have, and then pass them back because you're doing some scouting. Then you're going to set a roster. So you're gonna choose one card and put it face down in the week one slot. So here team A has placed their card face down on week one and team B has done the same. But I'm gonna flip these over and take the boards out just so you can see the cards better. You would normally just flip them up right here, but I wanna get a closer look. 
Okay, so let's say this was team A, team B, here's that weather, Our, the run back starts is zero. So we wanted to make sure that if anybody had a buy of week one, because it's week one, they would get zero points. If they both get zero, then nobody wins this round. Uh, and we want to make sure that there's no running back. So no buy is on one, no running backs is one. And notice a rookie and a starter, a quarterback and a wide receiver, you don't have to play the same people for, over each other or any same type or anything like that. Now we look at the different stats. So we have you know the touchdowns, the yardage, the successes, and all those add up to this. And we look at these, and so it's 15 to 10. Right now, this player is winning, so they can, if they want to, play a card from their hand that as, as a magic card. Now remember, you only have six cards in your hand, and each month you're gonna have four cards that you're gonna play. So two of them you could use as magic. This player decides not to. This player then takes a card, and they're going to play a magic card. They're gonna play this down as a magic card, and it says, Double all three stats for a rookie player. This is a rookie player. We double it. So it's th it's basically going to, going to add all these up was 10, and it's basically going to double it to 20. So this player would now win. And so this player would essentially get a football token as a point. They would put it back in week, it would be in week one, and they would put it there as a point. But this player had to use one of his powerful cards to win this one. He might not want to, wanted to have done that, but I want to show you how the magic works. They both could have played magic. And by the way, if this is ever tied after the weather and after magic, if it's tied, a good player always beats an evil player. If it's still tied, you start from the top stat, work your way down to see uh, which one is, is, is gonna go ahead. It's, it's whatever one has the top stat higher. So after week one, it might look something like this. We've played it, and this other player has the token on there, and they've used their magic card. You would do this for the rest of the three weeks. Let's go over a different example. So here we have team A and team B. Now, team B played a defense, and this played a running back, and we double all the stats. So since they're all doubled, instead of this being a 10, it's actually a 20, and they're beating them 20 to 16. Now, the leader, again, gets to decide whether they want to use magic, and they do decide. They play this, which says cancel a magic ability against an evil player, which would cancel any magic against this person, so they're not going to play a magic and waste a card, and this team would win. Now, the way the defense works, they don't have a whole lot of stats. This number, after the weather and the abilities and the magic abilities, this number has to be more than the final number to win with defense. So at the end of a month, you'll have this four head-to-head -head matchups done in each of the weeks. And in this case, I had one weeks, two and three, but lost weeks one and two. So essentially, I have two tokens here. Now at this point, you'll notice that, you know, we all started with two rookies and here and here. And you'll also notice you can only play each position player once per month. So you couldn't play two running backs or two quarterbacks. Notice how they're all different players there. At this point, we get ready to do a draft for the next round. And at this point, we take the stack of cards that we made at the beginning of the game on the main board, and we start putting them out one card more than the amount of players. That's why there's five here. This deck is made up of all the different types of players and all the different uh, positions. Essentially, each position once in all the five types of players for 30 cards there. So they come out here, and whoever has the least amount of football tokens will be able to swap. So basically, they might want to swap their rookie for this all pro. They put this down, and they add this one now to their hand of six cards. Everyone will continue doing that, and then once everyone has done that this will all be discarded and we would start a next week so now again in weeks five through eight a would play c b would play d for the four weeks then we go to the next month a would play d b would play c then in week 13 we do the playoffs the second place and the third place are going to play each other and literally they just play that one week so it'd be week 13 they play one week there's no buys in this week uh, but you can use the, the weather cards are dealt and you can use magic. The winner of that one week will then go on to the super game first half. So week 14 will be first place versus whoever won this, this week 13. Uh, you'd then do it again in week 15, same two people. Now, if the same player wins both of these, they win. If it's tied, you go to the last week, which is week 16, and the winner of that one, essentially it's two out of three in the super game, will end up be winning the whole entire game. And depending on the players, you'll play a different amount of games and months. For example, in the six player game, you'll actually play 16 normal weeks and actually go to week 20. So it changes depending on the amount of players and who plays who which months. Now let me just showcase you some of the other abilities that are in the game. The Labyrinth, you get to switch a player with a random bench player this week. So that is basically someone that's not in play as of right now. You could Rescue, which is take the top player from the deck and then discard it or swap it for one of yours. So you could get a really good player like that. Uh, we have Leadership, which is double all three stats for a rookie player. We have Raise the Dead, use a player who lost a game 
earlier this week. We have Gift, which is copy your success's stats to all your stats, or use a player who lost a game earlier this month. We have Crush, which is opponent's success's stats become zero in all different permutations of these types of things. All right, well, there is fantasy, fantasy football. Now, in the real world, I love fantasy football. It's fun to draft your team. It's fun to set up your games and to tactically see what's going on with, you know, the weather and the matchups. And it's the same here. And so I think this is a cool idea. Now, I've already reviewed their fantasy, fantasy baseball game. and I liked it quite a bit. And this one has, you know, a similar feel, but yet feels very different because, again, the mechanics are different. You're not just going for stat tracks on one side. And so they've changed a lot of the mechanisms up, sort of use the same engine if you will so if you've liked that game this is similar but yet it's very different too so if you have that other game and you like it you still will want to check this one out because it is a different game and you can definitely have both um, looking forward to seeing the final thing what's all the artworks in there it looks great so far so that's it that's on kickstarter right now go ahead and click the link below and i'm sure the people at csc games would love your support